pirates, rangers, crotch the old ladies. One of the best things about exploring new worlds is meeting new people, and Pop Tropical Worlds has no shortage of wacky characters to make your adventures a little more colorful. Whether they exist to help you on your journey or just to say hi, the folks in Pop Tropical Worlds are as fun to meet as they are to look at. And just to show you what I mean, here are six cool side characters you're likely to come across as you explore. Obligatory spoiler alert! Some of these character descriptions include tips you can use in your quest. If you don't want any hints, watch the rest of this video at your own risk. Captain Scuttlebutt. This might just be the first weird dude you'll meet on your big adventure, and he'll probably end up calling you a crusty bilge waffle. Whatever that means. It's cool though, because he lets you spin the wheel of loot every day. And who doesn't want free coins? If you get lucky, you might win enough coins to buy your very own pirate outfit from the store. Not sure if that gold tooth is included though. Way to keep it real, Scuttlebutt. Ranger Rick. If you make it out to Crisis Caverns in your travels, be a good tourist and introduce yourself to Ranger Rick. He hangs out in the visitor center and wears a pretty cool hat with the tree on it. Also, check out that stash! He's pretty attached to his bottle of glue. See what I did there? And probably uses it to fix stuff around the lodge, like that stuffed Great American Bison who looks like he needs a little TLC. Ranger Rick is pretty bummed out when you first meet him, but you can get on his good side by locating his missing elk antlers. He'll even give you your very own Junior Ranger badge. Hot dog! You're a bona fide professional now. Or something. Hazel and Beatrice. Speaking of Crisis Caverns, just wait until you meet Hazel and Beatrice, the two cranky tourists you get to rescue. These ladies have attitude and style. I mean, just look at their eyewear. If there's anything they love more than bickering with each other, it's gotta be their matching Caldera State Park shirts. Now, where can I get one of those? Honestly, these two aren't super grateful, or surprised, when you're miraculously able to move a boulder like a zillion times your weight, but they have been stuck in a cave for a while, so who can blame them? Let's just hope they stay friends when this is all said and done. Maynard, if you're looking to be someone especially wacky, take that hot air balloon of yours over to 24 Carat Island and head out to the abandoned carrot farm. If you're brave enough to hop in the old barn through the window, you just might find yourself face to face with Crazy Barn Dude, also known as Maynard. Kind of rude how he introduces himself with a trap, right? But I dig that hay bale hairdo. Can't buy that look in any shop I know of. This guy is one of a kind. And mysterious too. When you give him that part he needs to fix his trap, he bolts. At least he said thanks though. More than I can say for Hazel and Beatrice. Charlie. Charlie also lives on the oh-so-desolate 24 Carat Island. Her cat Whiskers has gone missing, but she's the only one who can man her hardware store, even though she doesn't have any customers. Still, she calls on you to find him if you can. And when you do, Charlie is all about that gratitude. She really likes that cat, I guess. He's pretty cute. And while she doesn't have a whole lot of coin to repay you, Charlie does her best and offers you a crowbar. Yeah, it's a little weird. Judging by the sign in her shop, she's really pushing crowbars these days. But hey, you might just find it comes in handy later, and by then you'll be singing her praises. Iris Ray. Last but not least, there's Iris Ray, that super cool girl back on Home Island who hangs out outside your house. Her clothes actually change colors, and she's not afraid to spill her secrets. She immediately lets you know where you can get the same outfit. What a sharer! She's helpful when it comes to tips on changing your hair and skin color too. I wonder what she's listening to in those headphones. Probably the next best band you've never heard of. Man, she knows what's up. You know, normally I'd tell you to be wary of people lurking around your house at all hours of the day, but I think her cool factor actually makes your place look even more welcoming. Iris Ray, you can stay. And there you have it. Six cool side characters you're likely to meet in Pop Tropical Worlds. And there's more where that came from. So get out there, get exploring, and make some new friends.